okay okay so what you can do is you can do some citation okay so when you install the Mendeley, so the most important thing is you can see in the reference. Maybe some of you familiar with Mendeley, but never mind, I just recall. Okay, maybe some of you are not familiar. So you see, I have a Mendeley and also I have EndNote over here. And this is a Microsoft. This is not a very friendly one. Okay, this is EndNote and this is Mendeley. So let's say you want to cite, what you can do, you can insert citation and go to Mendeley and whatever citation you want to cite you can choose and just click cite then you can see citation over here okay and if let's say you want to add some more you can insert citation and let's say you want to uh, add another article another two article like this okay i just click shift and choose two article and cite so it's going to be uh, like this but I have to merge this one. So what I will do, I will merge like this. I highlight and just click this one. Merge citations. Okay. Then okay. Then I can create a reference list. Just click insert bibliography. So, so it's over here. So quickly I can generate the reference. If let's say you're not using APA, let's say your university asking you to change the style, maybe you want IEEE, so just click IEEE, it will change accordingly. So when you write article or thesis, it's very easy for you. So it's going to be automatically changed. If let's say you want to change some more, let's say nature, it will change like this. So whatever style you want to okay, change, you can change. Not only these styles, eh? you can click more styles and you can go like this and you can search over here. If you don't get it, you get, get more styles. Okay, like Americans. Okay, uh, this one maybe cell. Okay, the American Journal of Physiology. Okay, install. Okay, done. Okay, then I can choose. Okay, it's already there. I can choose just now American Journal of Physiology, right? Some journals specifically ask certain style. So American Journal of Physiology, they ask this style. So you don't need to worry to change accordingly. You just use this one, use this style. Okay, done. So now it's American Journal of Physiology. So the style is almost like a IEEE. You see, uh, no, different. Okay, it's bold and it's quite different. So this is one of the tool, wonderful tool you can use for your reference management. Reference management means not only cite and creating a reference. Reference management means you can create a library, okay, bulk of articles over here, and you can read the articles. Even you can highlight the articles like this. Highlight the articles. You can put the end note at note. Okay, and also you can put a lot of things over here. Okay. This is a technology you can use. Highlight, add note, and so on. Okay. So you can put notes here also for your article. So you can manage library. You can do some annotations in your article, and also you can do quick citation from the reference manager. This is one of the important tools. Okay. So. Is one of the tool that you can use for the reference manager. So I just want to touch uh, Mendeley and note I don't want to touch and others I don't really use this one, but I just introduced to you. Okay, the first technology you have to remember reference managers. Okay, management software because reference are very very important. I'm very particular when my students write an article, uh, and I will particularly check the references. Okay. First, I will check the, how they organize their reference and what are the references they are really cite. That is very important. You cannot simply cite any article. Okay, for example, you are doing uh, you know, research and your problem statement. You have to cite the articles from the top journals. 
not simply cite you know any general like a simply and uh, from referee general because you are doing about you know a, a problem and you are citing about the problem statement and suddenly you are talking about you know common journals so you have to go for the good journals okay q1 q2 q3 q4 or we call it uh, f50 journals or tier one journals okay top journals then only you can convince your examiners because examiners they are they do have a certain criteria i have seen you know certain criteria i have one professor he said when you check the journals must make sure 70 percent of the journals are top journals 30 percent it can be anything 70 percent top journals mean q2 and q1 okay and q3 something like that okay so you have to be very careful so technology first reference manager uh, okay and oh, nice ring. okay when you do the research the most important tool you have to know is you know how to uh, get the article okay get the article okay and uh, there are some surface okay i can recommend to you it's like a summarizers okay summarizers mean it can easily can create a literature matrix literature review matrix and also it will give some points to you okay before you read the article it will give the important points okay let me tell you uh, okay summarizes okay if you have any question you can interject you can ask immediately also no problem okay article summarizer 2 okay i don't know whether you are aware about this one okay for example we have a tldr now actually there are so many tools but i just pinpoint few tools only tldr this this is the one of the summarizer you can use to summarize certain things quickly it can summarize but i'm not sure how good in terms of summarizing but i don't use this one okay but it can give you quick understanding about certain articles but anyway you have to read the articles okay because very important to read the full articles okay okay another one is a quill pot quill pot is also a summarizer but actually this one people mostly use okay i have seen you know even my students uh they're using quill board uh, for the paraphraser but it's not really paraphrasing correctly because sometimes you know you will get the different uh, contents but i just want to share with you uh, by using quill board uh, you can use a paraphraser grammar checker summarizer and also citation generator okay these are the function of the quill board grammar checker grammar maybe uh, if let's say you are good you know in english sometimes you know we make an error also so you can use certain tools like grammarly and so on okay but this tool is more to the paraphrasing but i want to focus on this one because scholarly scholarly is one of the tool it's a very good tool uh, if you register you can get 14 days free okay 14 days free you can try okay you can try if you want to keep on using 14 days i change your email okay it's up to you <laughs> Okay, but I can show to you what you can do with the scholarship. Okay, are you? Okay. Just go to the policy. This is a, another research tool you can use. Okay. Till I have an account for the scholarship. Okay, what you can do is you can create a library okay you can create a library so for example i have three documents over here okay so what you can do you can create a library for example you can create a library um, my library three then you can change okay uh, class okay sorry i just okay you can import uh, certain articles from here okay 
So what you can do, you can import, let's say I have articles uh, over here. Okay, I have, uh, let's say, how many articles I can choose. Okay, then I can upload files. So I import seven documents over here, which means I'm creating a library that I can see, you know, important points from each articles. It will summarize, but not really. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, okay, it will take uh, time a bit. Okay. This all done. It will take time. Okay. So this is one of the way, but never mind, I can try in another one. Okay, I can cancel this one. Okay. Because it's take a lot of time, you know. Okay. So let's say for the for example, this one, uh, my library. So I can click this one. I have a three documents. Okay, let's say I want to add one more article. I can add. Okay. Okay. Okay, for example, like this, uh, okay. I click this article, it will give uh, points like this, main highlight. Okay, it will give, oh, this article is talking about what? Or oh, differences between participants who learn through problem-based learning. So this is the most important point in this article. Okay, and key concepts, it will tell. Okay, and also uh, abstracts, of, of course, and scholarly highlights. So it will highlight the important point from the article. So you can get a quick picture about the article instead of reading the full article. Okay. So it means after you get some point, then you read the article. Oh, the, because I don't want you to waste time reading article in the end. Oh my God, this article is not related to my research. It's a waste of time. Okay. Okay. So not only this, you can get the scholarship scholarly summary from introduction what are the summary objective methods okay and the results it will give the things so you see what is the result okay discussion and conclusion it will give points it's like a flashcard okay uh, this is a full text actually okay full text you can read also this is a full text mean full article okay and also how many tables Okay, you can download the tables in Excel as well. Okay, this software is good. I'm using. Okay, and also, I'm not recommending. Oh, you just uh, copy and paste these points and you write an article. No, that is not a way. This is just to get quick picture. What all about? Particularly that article. Okay, and another beauty thing is. Okay, uh, you can go this one. Another one is what you can do. I go to my library. Okay, then I can move export. Okay, export document. Okay, uh, sorry, import. Oh, sorry. Okay, I have to choose all the articles. Which one you want to choose? You just click, 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 click one by one. Now three, I choose all three. Okay, and I move export documents. And I choose here, okay, in Excel. You can work, uh, these are different files, but let's say I go to the Excel, I export selected, you see what will happen. So, I go to this one here. Is one of the tool that you can use. It will give the matrix for you. It's a literature matrix, partially literature matrix. Okay. Then what you can do, you just highlight all of this. Uh, what you can do is uh, wrap text. Okay. Uh, then you can uh, do like this.
then you can get this one you see it will give all the things for each article okay for each article it will give this first one second article okay maybe i can put a number here easy for me okay maybe i can put a number insert okay one two and three let's say so this is the first one second article and the third article so you can get the quick picture okay uh, title author okay then uh, you see keywords okay funding so whatever necessary funding disclosure ethical compliance you don't want you just delete okay contribution so what is the contribution okay limitations if it can be extracted it will extract so contribution uh, so you can check the contribution of the article okay particular article and highlights what are the highlights from these articles okay then you can see results and so on okay but it's not really accurate but it can give uh, uh, how to see here yeah? it can give some uh, preliminary understanding about that particular article so second tool you can use okay so i cannot uh, go in deep everything okay. so first reference manager second is article summarizer tool okay in order to get article there are some techniques as well okay so first you have to get from the you know right database right article that is very important by using that technology okay okay what are the academic database available right now okay academic database you have to uh, split into two one is uh, databases that you can look for the thesis another one is a uh, article journals okay journal articles okay and you have to understand scopus.com is not an article search it's not it's just a bibliography database okay bibliographic database okay so uh, sorry this is in malay actually some of the things in malay it's okay i will uh, give it to you later okay okay these are the some academic databases uh, i can delete this one okay you see there are so many academic databases JSTOR, Science Direct, Web of Science, ACM, okay, Advanced Computing Machine, CCH, CLJ Law, Data Scream, EBSCO Host, Emerald. Emerald is a management, okay, you can get a lot of articles, and ERIC, Directory of Open Access, and so on, okay. And also, we have uh, thesis databases, okay, thesis database. I can go one by one also, but I will show to you. No worries, I will share the, uh, this slide. You can check later. Okay. You see, there are so many electronic thesis and dissertation websites. Okay, the most famous one is a ProQuest. Second is Ethos, okay, British. Another one is a Canadian thesis. These are very famous one. Okay, and also OATD.org. These are famous thesis databases. But the problem is thesis. Sometimes you know when you download a thesis from uh, different country or different universities, maybe the standard is not similar to your university standards. So don't be get caught with the thesis. Some students, you know, they will come, sir. How come this thesis contains a seven seven chapter? Okay, maybe that university uh, focus on seven chapters, like University of Uttara Malaysia, UUM only focus five chapters maximum you can go for six six chapters and also the content is quite different okay uh -huh. even you know if you come to UUM if you look at the um, PhD thesis it's almost most of the disease 200 pages okay 200 and above but if you look at certain thesis from certain industries is only 110 that thesis may be partially it's not a uh, full partial okay so that's why you have to understand the difference between two type of disease 
okay and then they call it dissertations okay maybe i can show it to you uh, this is one of the tool that you can use okay like myself i will use the uum portal we have uh, i think better use the, your own university library access because you already subscribe most of the article so easy for you to uh, get the article that you want okay okay before i move on about the search articles and looking up the uh, databases i can show okay i can tell about the book search books also uh, mm, good but uh, these are the some websites you know i found you can get some books okay books mean uh, some textbooks and some other books you know it's maybe fiction novels and so on okay you can go here also okay like a library genesis and so on okay okay i go here Like UEM library, we can access from e resources. Okay, uh, maybe you have access. Okay, from your university because when you want to download ProQuest, Scopus based article, or we call it Science Direct. Okay, if you want to utilize the exact features of the particular database, you need an access. Otherwise, you cannot get it. Except Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a different story. Okay, Google Scholar, you can get a lot of things also. Okay. Uh, but you cannot access a uh, paid article which means uh, open access article you can access but if let's say that article is a gold access and you know you have to pay to that particular article you have to go through your university databases which has been subscribed by them okay like UUM, we have a science direct and so on so maybe i can show to you like uh, scopus.com and also science direct and we have uh, taylor and francis and we have a uh, request okay i go to the request dissertation okay 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 this is a uh, request so if you click all uh, this this it will give everything you know books scholarly journals video and so on if you want to search progress request is not only for dissertation eh? You can search there are some scholarly journals as well okay we go to the dissertation you just search okay and you have to click full text and let's say you want to search about technology adoption let's say if you search like this you will get this is which contains technology and adoption as long as there is a technology and adoption anywhere it will search for you so try to avoid that so in order to search specifically you have to put like this sorry okay so you go here and you search you can click the search tips also okay so whatever together okay the word together okay like a praise you know technology adoption so it will come it will pop up like this and you can specifically can search uh, some thesis by using filter function for example uh, you can filter from here custom date range then you can choose maybe you want to choose uh, let's say you want to choose only uh, 2019 or you want to choose some more maybe you want only 2016 okay uh, january until okay let's say first january and until uh, october 31st okay let's see then you apply So you can, and so these these are some latest thesis. So you can download, for example, this one. And also you can uh, filter. Uh, you don't want master thesis. You want uh, you know uh, only the thesis from the you know PhD level or DBA. Okay, you can filter as well. Okay. 
Okay, but I'm not sure whether it's available or not. Last time it's available, that function. Okay. And you see 5,315 results about technology adoption. Okay, technology adoption somewhere here, you know. Okay. So you can click this one like this. Then you can download the article. Sorry, uh, download the thesis. You see, this is from one university. So this is one of the tool you can use okay for that this is okay similarly you can go to the scopus scopus is a bibliographic database okay and if you want to find out the full article uh, you have to go to science direct this is one of the example only actually we have a lot of things okay over here like emerald these are databases okay these are Databases, you can find out the uh, a lot of articles. Okay. For example, let's say I want to search about social commerce. I just click social commerce. Or you want to go for the advanced search, also can advanced search. Uh, this one uh, you can customize. But this advanced search is not uh, up to the standard of the Scopus.com. Okay, I will show to the Scopus better. Okay, to find out the article, then you can find out somewhere else. Okay. Social commerce, and you can. This is one of the tool that you can use. Okay, it's very good, and you can filter out. You know, you can filter out. Okay, let's say you want to search, you can put and you know and Malaysia. Let's say Pakistan. Okay. So. It's uh, now only 20 results, Malaysia. You have to know how to use and not or. Okay, Malaysia. Okay, let's say Pakistan. But not, uh, uh, you can put what you want, no one, not. So it will search like this. Okay, so I can download the article. It's from Pakistan, I think. Okay, and I can see this article. Is it from Pakistan or somewhere they highlight the Pakistan? Yeah. Okay, the author from the Pakistan. That's so, why you know we find out. Okay. Okay. This is not uh, one of the tool you can use uh, to find out the article. Okay. When you go to Scopus, uh, Scopus it's a wonderful search engine to explore the articles specifically. Okay. You go here. Okay. Uh, even you know uh, you can check you know affiliations. Okay, affiliations. Let's say, uh, what is the full name of the university? Superior. Eh? Um, what is the full name of the your university? Is it Superior University? Full name. Sorry. Excuse me. May I, may I know the full name of the okay superior university of Lahu? We can check, you know, who is the top author in the Google. Uh, sorry, I in the Scopus. Okay, this one, right? Okay. You can check, you know. Okay, you have 383 authors from your university actively published in Scopus. When I click this one, who is the top author? Maybe your friend? You can check all of this. Okay. Okay, if you don't want, okay, I click, I back. Okay. So I can check here. 576. Okay. So Superior University Lahore. Then you see authors.
Okay. You see, who is the top author? Jafar Muhammad Arfan. 115 documents. Half of the documents contributed by Jafar. Uh, your friend? Anyone? You see? And H index is 19. You can check all of this. Okay? And you can, why I'm telling this one? Because you know who is the top author of the university and also top author of the particular research area. Okay, we can click there. Uh, Jafar Muhammad Arfan. Okay, the Supreme University Lahore. Okay, then I know about him. Okay, then I can check about his profile as well. So it's more to the computer aided detection. Okay, this one. So maybe your friend. Okay, you can check this one. Okay. So he is the, uh, how to say, uh, hero of the Lahur University in the Scopus database. Okay. okay, talking about the research for your case, you can search the documents and what you can do is advanced document search. Don't simply search like this. You go and search the article, okay, like this. Let's say you want to search, let's say smart retailing. Or social commerce. So what you can do, you can use the function over here, searching tips, role of technology. Yeah? Okay. You can click and okay. And Pakistan. Let's say. And you want to put more, but I don't want to go in detail because this is a one-day training, you know. It's around two hours training how to search article only okay you can use the function or Malaysia it's mean I'm giving instruction to the database you search about social commerce and Pakistan if you don't get it you go for the social Pakistan okay uh, Pakistan or Malaysia I think you know about this mathematical operation we call it boolean search okay boolean okay search key So there are 1,250 documents. Okay. So what's the difference between this one? All open access means this one you can download just like that. All of this you cannot download. You have to pay. But can you download from here? Cannot download. It's just a bibliographic database. Okay. And also what you can do is you can analyze the result. If let's say you are doing about social commerce about Pakistan or in Malaysia. So you can analyze who is the top author, what are the topics, what are the keywords available. You just go here, analyze the search result. Okay. Then you know there, who is the top author. Okay. You see? Um, this Ui KB is my friend actually, Ui Kangun. Okay. And Malaysia and Pakistan, okay, Malaysia is leading actually because a lot of people are publishing about social commerce. And you know their top authors. Okay. If let's say you are writing an article, okay, writing an article about social commerce, okay, and you fail to cite these people, top authors, it means something wrong. It means you did not read fully the research papers that's the meaning so we can analyze okay and this one can tell you the trend it means if anyone says social commerce is a you know outdated research no it's a one going research that's why you can see the trend of like this you see that this trend showing okay shows that the social commerce research is a one going trend and is a not declining trend, it's inclining, you know, it's going up. Okay. And even there are eight documents will be published in 2022. Okay. So this will give you the idea, okay, of the research. And also, uh, sorry. 
you can download the detail of all of this also you can all you can download also okay you can download sorry <clears throat> not download eh? sorry export okay you can export what you want to export maybe you want to export author year authors years uh, source title volume issues let's say if you don't want no problem you want abstract uh, author keywords or not author keywords index keywords okay you just click download okay this mean export okay Okay, you click click like this document title, not source title, eh? document title, and you click what you want. You can download directly to the Mendeley as well. If you don't want, you can download in a CSV. CSV file. Okay, then you can see for your literature matrix. So I just me uh, I just uh, do have you know uh, only one hour, so I try to cover it within one hour. Okay, so it's downloading. Lot of articles, right? Around thousand two hundred fifty. It will get in the Excel format. Then you can see everything together. If you know how to use Atlas TI, you can analyze the keywords, and you can publish the article. Okay, so that is the beauty of the scopus.com, one of the technology which you cannot avoid when you are doing refresh. Okay. Uh, okay, it has been exported. Okay, you just click this one uh, because literature matrix is very important to understand the quick, you know. Uh, you see, uh, if you don't want uh, this one, okay, I will analyze the index keyword, you know, to get the quick pinpoint. So, if you don't want, I can delete this one, then I don't want link. So, what I will do, I will do like this. Okay. So I can wrap the text like this. Okay. So I can quickly can read author name. Uh, so title is uh, you know customer loyalty or something like that. Then you wrap text. You can wrap text. Wrap text mean it will be within the column. That's a wrap text. Okay. If you know how to use, then you can quickly read this one. Abstracts. There are 1250 articles has been loaded in this Excel. So you can get, so just read abstracts. Remember, uh, title is a, title is a two line of the research, two lines of the research. Abstract is a single paragraph of the research. Okay. So if you want to understand the article, if you want to read before you read you have to read the abstract first whether it's really uh, related to your research or not okay so you can get this one easily one of the tool you can use in your research okay so i have covered uh, about this one scholarly academy databases and uh, you can search all of these but i cannot go one by one okay i have shown to you i have display to you science direct okay web of science i have access but it will take time okay um, and another one is uh, thesis database the another famous database is ethos for the thesis uh, you can access this one also it's free actually it's free you can go here and you can search also let's say smart retailing 
okay you can search okay smart retailing zero records found oh my god okay let's see technology ah okay you can get okay but you have to register okay this one so you can limit the things okay and you have to down if you want to download you have to register this one i have an account okay so we have a phone now बजुआ I can get your point. Maybe you are talking to your friends. <laughs> okay, so you can get from here as well. Okay, this is one of them. Actually, these are looks like a fundamental technologies. But if you do not know all of these technologies, you you can you know you will have a problem. I don't want to touch about you know data analysis. Okay, smart PLS, SPSS, AMOS. And these are uh, tools after your uh, you know proposal defense. Okay. So I don't want to touch about that one, okay. But I'm using a smart PLS a lot, okay. Uh, even I learned from the Kasim, okay. Kasim is one of the, my teacher for smart PLS, okay. I attended his class, good class, okay, wonderful class. Okay, and okay, if you look at this one, academic databases. Apart from this, okay, book search. uh another one every day you search article you know you get tired so what you have to do is you have to create a alert function alert function mean whenever people publish any article related to your topic it will automatically notify through email okay so you can get something like this you can create an alert from google scholar Okay, Google Scholar alert and also Scopus alert. Okay, I can show it to you. How does it looks like my Scopus alert? Okay, like this. I see. I always really receive this one, you know, Scopus alert like this. I see. Whenever published article, because I have created. uh alert function for the keywords innovation performance and so on okay you can go to scopus alert as well okay go to scopus like this google scholar you have to go like this google scholar alert i think you know google scholar okay and you click a google scholar alert and you have to create an alert like this but i don't use my personal account because uh, it's already junk lot of uh, things so that's why um, i can show it to you i have a special email just for the alert okay just for the alert so once you create alert over here just click create alert and you just put the alert like a big data <laughs> create alert okay so like this or you want to see immediately the alert uh, you can see the let's say cloud kitchen update result so uh, there are some oh there are some people publish about cloud kitchen so let me create an alert so when when you create an alert you will get something like this i have a special email you know for the alert function this is a nas alert you see every time i will get ict adoption lot of article i will get it so i no need to search every day you know every day i will get the articles in my email it will send so i just click and read so i can make sure myself up to date about my research area okay this is the entrepreneurship and this is one of my research area e-commerce social commerce big data electronic commerce so you see every day i will get a few few emails you know so even one article it will uh, alert google scholar uh, as well as uh, scopus.com 
Okay, this is uh, how you create. And Scopus Alert, you can click here. You can go and uh, get over here. Search. Okay, let's say you search. Okay, social commerce and Pakistan. Okay, then you can set alert over here. Set alert. And you have to sign in. I have an account, so I will sign in. Because it will uh, recognize you through email. So I continue. Oh. Okay, I sign in. Okay. Ah, so something wrong. Okay, now mind. So I don't know, maybe something uh, wrong with the technical things. So this is the way. So you just click and create an alert that you will receive uh, something like this. Okay. Uh, when you create a Scopus alert, you will get, but I will recommend uh, Google Scholar alert better. Scopus also okay, but Google Scholar, you will get more articles. Okay, this one thing. See, one of the tactic you can use. Okay. Alert tools. Okay. So, reference manager academic search engines okay alert systems and also the thesis database and how to export and also summarizer tools these are the some technology that i can share with you okay last one let me uh, take few times a few minutes okay uh, so you can go some search engines as well search engines okay uh, like a Google Scholar search engine, Microsoft Academy search engine, Core search engine, Semantic Scholar, wonderful one. Try this one. Research Get also. Mendeley also you can search. Okay, Mendeley will give you a wonderful thing actually. Mendeley search. Okay, Mendeley search. You just go www.mendeley.com. Okay. If you go to the Mendeley, actually Mendeley connect to the, you know, uh, <clears throat> LCV, okay, smart retailing, then I can go like this. It will give the lot of articles, then I can directly add this one into, if let's say I click add to library, it will automatically go to my Mendeley. If I want the related article, let's say this is a Gen Z consumer, okay, Gen Z consumer. I want related article about this one. I can click related. It will give more article about this topic. Just click related. Uh, you see. Uh, you don't need to search, you know. It will recommend to you. Sorry. You see, it will give recommended article over here. We call it backtracking. Okay, you click this one. Related. Oh, related. You want get full text? Just click get full text. It will go directly. But this one, uh, you can click and get it. Uh, so I can go. Sorry, I can download. So I get this article. Okay. You think? So, or oh, something wrong, this one. Uh, yeah okay i can get it so this is the way to get the articles from mendy.com okay and also you get code you can go to the semantic scholar semantic scholar is one of the very good uh, database you can get you see 177 million i think or 19 million Okay, I can figure out. Okay, let's say I go to this one. Okay, technology. Uh, let's say I go to the social commerce. Okay, and you can create alert as well. Okay, over here you can create alert as well. Explore topic. You can explore the topic. Then you can see that, you see, 
when you explore the topic, which one is the highly cited article for the social commerce? Uh, so you can read this article, highly cited. Okay, and you can click the pictures without reading the things. Okay, read the papers. Let me see. You can get a lot of. Oh, sorry. Okay, and you can figure out journal or conference. You only want journal. Okay, field of study, data range, you can filter out. Ah. And you can see, you know, the trend of the social commerce. Ah. Is it increasing or declining? Okay, decreasing. No, actually it's an ongoing trend. It will give you the point that your research is doable research. Let me see. Last 10 years. Let us see, last 10 years. So it will give last 10 years. So this is one of the wonderful tools you can use in your research. Okay, I have, I have a lot actually. Okay, uh, you can check one by one. Okay, I, because I cannot go one by one. And also, okay, as I mentioned, Semantic Scholar, uh, this one, okay, Synapse. Okay, and also you can go to the data search. This is one of the good, okay, data search by Elsevier. The last one I can share with you because we don't have uh, enough time. I don't know whether it's available or not. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's available. Okay, this one. Uh, let me search. Okay, uh, this one is okay. Hmm. This website is another one. Um, okay. Because sometimes you know, they change the websites uh, because of certain reason. Oh, they switch to here okay so you can click this one and you can get some information as well okay this is one of the you can get the uh, you know data you know okay you can get the data from here Mendeley data okay this one it's helpful for your research to know what are the data sets available okay Uh, last time is different now. I don't know why it's quite different compared to last time. Okay Okay uh, Google Scholar, okay academic I think you know research gate is one of the wonderful when you, when you have a question you can ask them and also Baidu this is for from China, okay and science.gov okay and this one i don't want to talk but i just want to give you the notes i think you know our site hub okay okay uh so I have, you can use uh, some are not available some available okay uh, you can use this one okay to download the certain articles okay uh since i have given only uh one hour so let me wrap up just in one minute uh, so basically technologies is one of the important tool important thing that you cannot avoid in doing research okay starting from reference manager academic search engine method of search the article and you can export the literature and you can quickly can get understanding of that particular article and also i have introduced some summarizers it's mean you can summarize the article and get the quick picture about the quick picture it's mean uh, some overview about the article and also i've i <clears throat> i explained to you some of the databases especially scopus database 
which you can do to analyze particular topic whether it's still relevant or is out of date ready and you can see the trend of the research and also you can see top authors okay and also i display to you about your universities as well who is the top author of the scopus in your you know in your university okay so thank you very much from my side i think i have covered just a little bit about the technology that you can use in your research if you if you do have any other opportunity maybe i can explain in detail each and every technology that i'm using and you can use okay thank you very much thank you so much sir for sharing the wonderful information i would request the participants uh, if you have any question please share in the chat box oh, okay i can check the sharing session sir uh, where is it okay yes slides will be shared okay. if you have any question please share maybe slides i will share with the kasim same then yes yeah okay okay sir okay no problem okay i think you have explained in such a way that nothing is left unanswered so <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much all the participants thank you sir for your uh, wonderful session and precious time and thank you participants for joining the session okay then i will share the slide as well thank you for the opportunities uh, if you have a blessing definitely we will see again meet again inshallah i hope we will be having more uh, fruitful sessions in future inshallah okay and also i welcome uh, your researchers to our university to share your experience okay yes, can we have a wonderful opportunity contact yes. uh, email or contact number please Ah, you okay? I can uh, put my number. The chat and, box. Yeah, yeah. I'm typing right now. Mail ID. Okay. Thank you. I forgot to uh, <laughs> write down my detail. Uh, okay. Uh, and phone number, mobile number. Okay. Wait. Uh. Oh. Great. Right. That is my email ID and my mobile number. Malaysia, you have to put plus six, uh, like this. International code. Okay. Great. Right. Uh, okay, sir. Thank you so much for your yeah. time. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Mr. Mohammad, I have given the, my number and my contact detail, mail ID, matiwanan at UUM, and my mobile number. Yes. Yes, you may share. Are you sharing in the chat box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We don't see. How come? We cannot see that one. <coughs> Are you it's sure? It's for everyone because I cannot see. I think it's not visible for everyone. Okay, 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 okay. Let me. It's only for. Yes. <coughs> okay, now can. <coughs> now visible. Now it's visible. Now it's visible. Oh, just now, you know, I just choose the Javit. I think wrongly choose only one percent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Javit. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Take care.